boys, so we're continuing on with our lesson today. So some more examples. Second example, if the cost price is $85 and the selling price is $102, find the profit. So remember the profit, they've actually told you this time that it is a profit. You don't need to work that out whether it's a profit or a loss. They're telling you that they have made a profit. And you can see that because it went from a cost price at the beginning of 85 and it went up when they sold it to 102. So they have made a profit. The profit will be the difference between those two numbers. So $102 minus 85 gives you a $17 profit. The percentage profit, remember that percentage means times 100. So there's the times 100. The word profit, that's the other important word in the question that goes to the top of the fraction. Nothing left to write on the bottom. It's always the original on the bottom, the original price, which will be the cost price. So on the top, we have our profit, which you just worked out, $17. On the bottom, we have the original price or the cost price, $85. Times by 100, put in your calculator and you will get 20. Don't forget that it is a percentage you're finding, so we're running 20%. Okay, the next example. So if the cost price is $19 and the selling price is $14, it says find the loss. You don't have to work out whether it's a profit or a loss. They're telling you there is a loss. You can see that because it's gone from a, price of, a cost price of $19 down to a selling price of $14. They lost money on this deal. It is a loss. To find how much they lost, you just subtract the numbers. And we've got a $5 loss. Again, with this next one, Find the percentage loss. The word percentage means times 100. The important word of loss goes to the top of the fraction and it's always the original price on the bottom if they have no other important words in the question. So our loss, we found out up here was $5. Our original price was $19. Then when we times all that by 100, and use your SDP on your calculator to get a decimal, because this tells you you want a decimal, you'll get that answer off your calculator. Then we round into one decimal place. That's less than five, so this stays, and it's 26.3%. In number four, this is a word problem. Anthony bought a computer for $519 and he sold it three years later for $220. Calculate his percentage loss correct to one decimal place. So there's a fair bit to do here. They're not leading you through this question in any way. That's what they want, percentage loss. The word percentage means times by 100. So we make sure we've got that in our working. The other important word is loss. That goes to the top. And always, if there's no other important words in the question, original price goes on the bottom. So this time we actually have to find the loss because we didn't find it earlier. So just get the two prices and subtract them. The bigger one minus the smaller one, 519 minus 220. That will give you the loss. I'd rather just write that subtraction there, not work it out just yet in case you make a mistake. On the bottom, we write our original price, the price that he bought it for originally, $519. Once you put all that in your calculator and you use your SD key, you'll get that decimal. Now remember, you can enter that on the top of your fraction in your calculator, so you don't have to actually work it out. You can just open up a fraction key And on the bottom, you just put in 519 minus 220. Then down arrow and put your 519 in. Then times by 100. Once you get your decimal, it says correct to one decimal place. 
That's less than five, so we're going to keep that decimal as a six there in that first decimal place. So it's 57.6%. So we're going to come back into the next video and do some more examples.